Hey everybody, how are you? I hope you're doing great. This design today, it's a very cool one, perfect for Cinco de Mayo, Hispanic festivals, or any um, Mexican party. So this is the idea, it's going to be a maraca. <laughs> yes, una maraca, in Spanish we say maracas. Um, and when you look for Cinco de Mayo ideas, uh, you will always see on Google maracas. So I'm gonna show you, this was my first attempt. And ta -da! And this is the best part that you can make it sound. So all what I put inside, it's these beads from the Dollar Tree. You get a bunch of those. And if you don't have these beads, you can always put any of your balloon scraps into little nuts. Those are the raisin beans. Just put a couple. Look, with five, it's gonna be good enough. Now, this is one option. And we're gonna make it because you only need two balloons plus a scrap. When I say a scrap, very little, you will see for this piece. And it's a 160, I think it's a very cool, it's a perfect maraca, and everybody's gonna love it. Now, if you remember, or if you have seen already my tutorial about the magic potion, it's pretty much the same idea, it's just upside down. So I'm gonna show you the magic potion if you wonder, what is she talking about? So I make this and look, that's it. And now you have a maraca. <laughs> so you can make it and maracas are much easier. Yep, you don't have to pretend it's the, you know, empty, you change colors using clear balloons. But what I recommend you is, if you wanna do this for line twisting in a fast version, it is possible, yes, but the Sharpie time will take a little bit longer. It's Sharpie time, yes. And this is the easiest one. Look at the maracas, they have lots of styles, lots of, part, lots of patterns you can do. Now what you can do is always get, go to the Dollar Tree or get stickers representing, you know, the party, Cinco de Mayo. And you can just put the sticker in the center. And there you go. Maybe some sh Sharpie around, circling, back, pretty much that will be the design. Now, thinking about that, it came this idea to use my printed balloon, my, what is this? This is the sugar skull. And that's also from Mexico, right? So let's, and this is how it looks. In case you wonder what happened if I use a printed balloon. Now, also you can use those printed balloons representing, you know, like Cinco de Mayo party. There are printed balloons already with Cinco de Mayo party. So that will be great. But in case you don't have, so you don't have to worry. Now, look, here in this one, let's listen it. It's going to have only five of those little bits. So let's see how it sounds. I think that's perfect. It's not that bad. You don't want to be super noisy. And here I put a little bit more. I think it sounds a little bit louder, but it's up to you. Okay? Now, let's start it. Again, this is a very fast, easy way, and you already know probably how to do it if you know the magic potion. So let's go a little bit faster. Two balloons, five inch round. No quick link because it's a maraca. You don't need any extra tip on the top. So, round balloons. You're gonna introduce one inside the other one. But before you do that, I recommend you to grab one and insert five or if you can, more of those little bits. So you can find it at the dollar store. I have this for a long time. There's even some, uh, ooh, you see? So this is long time because I don't really use it for as people recommend it, racing beans. I prefer my tied up balloon, the scraps, and, and do my little, little racing beans like this. Anyways, if you can try with rice, I think some people use rice or other, you know, things or beans, you know, seeds, but this, it's okay. And again, you don't need that much. So if, if this is a moment, if you have a stronger fingers, use it. If it's not, you can use your castrator. So I, before, I, I think I show you how I use my fingers. So with the castrator, yes, you can also pre-made this. So that's the cool part. So you introduce it all the way, open it, you have there a space to introduce, you know, as many as you want, but minimum, I think five will be good enough. So I'm introducing a bunch to make it noisy. I want to make this noisy. And I hope it lasts because this weekend I'm going to a Hispanic festival here in my town. And 
that will be cool to bring those um okay so i'm just pushing be very careful with this remember you can always make it in a very uh fastest way with, with your fingers yes but if you will have time watching movies you can pre-made this idea okay so you just take it out um and you have a bunch there Ouch. don't lose it <laughs> look at this okay now when i see this i see some distortion too because this can be bigger bubbles and it can be a shape for uh, a fruit. It can be a chirimoya if this is green. Chirimoya, I don't know how you, if you know that fruit, but it's from in Peru, we, we, we eat lots of those chirimoyas. But you can make even a pineapple. Why not if you put more and it bubbles? It's like a balloon distortion. Anyways, sorry, <laughs> let's keep going. You have this, a bunch of little bubbles, pebbles, beads, plastic things, things that even too, they, if they, touch together is gonna make noise i like this runnish so it doesn't pop the balloon um now you just have to introduce this balloon inside this balloon the other five inch one same color better but you can always mix and make different colors why yellow i think that's because i use that picture as an example and it's yellow and i was thinking i like yellow because it's a color that is not that bad for them use sharpie and decorate it so yellow i think is a go uh, or a pastel color, so then it's going to be easier to decorate with Sharpies. Unless you're going to have a, a sticker, that would be awesome. Look for stickers. And don't forget, please, you can always donate to this channel. Go check on my Amazon wish list. I have a lot of things that I would love to have. You can buy anything from there, and it will come direct to my house. Also, you can send balloons. You can send stickers. My address is on the description of all my videos, okay? Now, you just put it inside. Look, one inside the other one. You just have to blow it. All this, you can have it pre-made. That means you have this a bunch and you can even tell, and this is, I learned from a friend in the Bling Bling Jam and he told me, look, some things you can have it and you can tell, look, it's a, a limited edition. That means you just have 12 of these designs in case people, you know, wonder, oh, I want it, I want it, and there's not enough for everybody. You can always say you have 20, that's it. So it's an idea. Okay. Or 12. Yeah. So now you just blow all this, it's like a circle, and I like it, you know, if it's possible, bigger than the palm of your hand, because you want something, you know, big, yes. And when you have that shape you want, okay, you're going to grab the balloon from, that is inside, pull, pull as much as you can and tighten it, because you want to take all that extra excess from that and tighten it. So all this tip... You're gonna cut it. I I wanna show you everything on the camera, but okay, there's cut it. Now you just have the tip from the balloon that is on top. I mean the outside balloon. You know what I mean. I know you know what I mean. And look, it looks so short, but because we're gonna stretch it with a 160, it's gonna have this skinny thing standing, and you can shake it. Awesome. Let's do that. <laughs> now um 160 this is the balloon scrap that you don't need that much and so i have a scrap from decomex 160 and this is from uh betalatex 160 so you decide what do you prefer i prefer the most skinny one and so you just um you know cut probably no more than four finger really no more so you cut it make sure you tie it so that way you have this right in here okay just put it in there, not all the way, you don't want all the way. Now from here, when you put it as much as you can push down, then you can pull up a little bit that, I need the five inch round to make it uh, more, um, you know, they introduce more. So this is gonna be a little tricky. If you have an electric pump, that's great, but if it's not, it's okay. So I introduce a little bit and that's it. Let's use a manual pump, one for 160s. I don't wanna, you know, and then just blow it. Trust me, this is not really hard. I just want you to show you. So I'm just, I just want you to see. And so you introduce and pull as much as you can there. And then you just connect it. And it's gonna look all crazy, trust me. But you just keep, keep, keep blowing. Keep blowing until you have something like that. Then you're gonna stretch and accommodate things, okay? Um, so you can even blow more if you think you will need more, but it's okay, you have to do it, uh, you just pull, tie the 160, so make sure it's tied the 160 inside, cut the excess, and you just 
como they design. So uh, here is the maraca. It's ready, pretty much. Remember, if you are doing this for line twisting, things doesn't have to be perfect. You just kind of try and do your best. Now, the maraca is pretty much ready. If you don't have time, you just leave it this way. That's it. You don't have to even tie this balloon, the, the five inch long. You can just leave it like that. Unless you think, oh, the kids are gonna break it. You tie it, but it's not necessary at all. And then from here, play. Play with the sticker. So now I remember I have my Dollar Tree llamas. And a lot of, you know, like, you know, this can be from the Andes. It can be for a Hispanic festival. It can represent my country for sure because in Peru we have lots of llamas and alpacas. So I'm going to choose one uh, that kind of like contrast. And it's going to be this one, the cool alpaca because it's a cool design. I have this. You just put it in the center and trust me it's not that hard with patience with time with practice you can make this much faster and it can be any design cool now what colors represent if it's a Spanish festival I mean Cheyenne Wyoming a lot of people think Hispanic it's Mexican so I'm okay I don't make any problems but if you want to go with the Cinco de Mayo use the Mexican colors more red white and green but um you can just play and just make i don't know um just go this around uh with some colors remember things doesn't have to be perfect especially for them twisting you don't have to uh worry that much um i'm gonna just make here some white and i don't know if the mexican flag is like that but you can just make those things and then some white in the center and again this is just um you know like i'm just here going uh no plans my my goal is to share with you that I'm also designed from the magic potion it's so magic you can make a lot of things so you can have something like that if you want to make things even better just grab uh, some black and kind of define each side uh, you can make it with some bubbles and in between lines you can you know something like this and, and i'm again remember i'm just experimenting with you and see what is coming out of sometimes just trying you see so it kind of pop up more the scrabbles there and you can make a lot of different things but this is just an interpretation of a cool maraca here also you can define this as a line uh, so people can um start figuring it out thinking how you did this and <laughs> it's like the magic magic maracas i guess yes awesome so you see that's the cool part i hope you like it uh this is a very cool idea i like it and i'm so happy to share it's uh, again it's a fast video because it's not really that much so all the things i'm gonna just tell you is check up on the description for my videos there will be ideas how to collaborate with this channel um don't forget like comment subscribe and if you make it please you can find me on instagram and on all my social media you can tag me if you made this design you don't have to mention me i know you sometimes share pictures for your clients i get it and you don't want to say sometimes oh this is not my design i don't care but i would love to see what you you know learn by watching the videos here and if you can add you know in the comments just add alpaca global then i can see and i would love that because at the end of my videos one of the things i like to do is to share pictures that people tag me in of the designs they learn watching these videos that way uh, other people motivates you know feels motivated to to say yes it's not impossible we can make this look it doesn't have to be exactly the way i made it you can make it your own ways you can uh have fun and and make this you know your own design uh, that's what the best part you know use your creativity play have fun and, and enjoy it <laughs> have a wonderful day ciao ciao